Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the digital edition of NHL Now. Jackie Redmond, EJ Raddick, as per usual. And all week long, we have been profiling the three finalists for the Willie O'Ree Community Hero Award. And today we are super excited to welcome on Dampy Brar. He is the co-founder of the APNA Hockey Program. It's a network which provides support for South Asian hockey players. So first off, Dampy, congratulations. This is a huge yeah. honor. I'm assuming that your phone has been ringing off the hook. Yeah, it's been uh, pretty awesome. Uh, NHL announced it, I believe it was last Friday, I believe, or yep. Thursday or Friday. Um, the news spreads fast nowadays uh, <laughs> on numerous hockey chats, and I run a ball hockey league with another gentleman, and I started, I just, you know, obviously you prep for it, and they were like, oh, by the way, the voting, I just found out that they publicly announced it, and I didn't know the voting was on Monday. And yes, uh, obviously my parents, uh, we went camping that weekend, uh, last weekend, and my, everybody's like, oh, well, my parents are like, stay behind, you have to do this, you have to get this ready. But uh, since Monday morning, probably around 5 o'clock to now, the phone's been buzzing. Um, I did a few interviews in Calgary where my son's holding the phone up, uh, just trying to get, using my phone to film, and he goes, all I hear is... <laughs> right so <laughs> it's uh it's been overwhelming at times but uh the community sports there and uh obviously willie Uri is a great individual to to be uh to have a, an attempt to win a award under his name so dampy give uh give the viewers a little bit of uh the background to the program <laughs> and what exactly you guys do well we're a uh, first south asian uh a hockey network. Um, so one of the things that we do is we showcase our prominent hockey players that are playing at a respectful level. So pro hockey, uh, like for example, Jajar Kara is playing in the NHL alongside Connor David. That's a very big deal to our, uh, our community. Um, there's a lot of players, uh, more than a few players playing in the American Hockey League, uh, East Coast League, uh, uh, playing pro in Europe. Um, and you got your well, you know, the major junior leagues, Alberta Junior, uh, BCJ, and a lot of players are playing prominent, like double AA, A, triple A. So we, we showcase that. But not only do we showcase the males, we're also showcasing the females. And that's where, uh, for me, I have a daughter, and Jackie, I know you're happy hearing that. So <laughs> I, I've, I've always wanted a daughter, to be honest with you, and I've always wanted her to play hockey, even if it was one year. And uh, mm. uh, but she's loving the game and, and she's playing and she enjoys it. So we, we have four girls that are South Asian, uh, East Indian that have that are playing uh, university hockey. And that's a big mm -hmm. step. Um, that's parents being saying, we're going to support you. That's the girls saying we want to play hockey. So for me, uh, that's been a very important piece. So uh, as long uh, with our uh, uh, with promoting our players. We're also doing a different initiative. We're working on different initiatives to uh, highlight our community. Um, we're there for any uh, racial or diversity in hockey uh, events that are in around the city or in around the country. And we want to be part of that as well. Um, we're a big, uh, you know, we're big on like on ice development, off ice development and uh, uh, including uh, and working together with other communities, not just South Asian, but, bringing everybody together because I, you know, I grew up in a small town in Scar, BC. I lived in, a, I listened to Garth Brooks. I drove a Dodge Ram. I, you know, I, I'm first in both cultures. You sound like so a country I, song right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So our program, our program is, uh, is there uh, as a voice and uh, as a support system for our youth and, uh, and more importantly, uh, try to make every individual that go through the program, uh, you know, well-rounded and uh, yeah. pave them a good path uh, for their lives. Well, you talk about being a girl dad and your daughter playing hockey and doing things for, for women and girls that want to play hockey. And I was reading up that you did some work with Haley Wickenheiser, um, obviously a legendary Canadian hockey player, in bringing a team into Canada for the first time. How did that happen and, and what did that experience and that initiative do for the program and, and for hockey? I believe it was, it was a trip to Calgary, but correct me if I'm mistaken. Yeah, it all started, uh, uh, we got invited to the fundraiser in Surrey, BC in April 2018. And that's where you got to see, you know, the, the magnitude of the visit that Haley had earlier uh, with Brad Ferentz and a bunch of other people. And uh, for us to be part of that, we didn't know where, how big it was. And, uh, 
And when we went in, uh, we did offer, say, hey, we'll help uh, when the, if and when the girls come down, because it was still, it was still being, uh, the fundraising was still being organized and, uh, and all that. And I get a call in June. I was in a hockey tournament and uh, saying, hey, would you want to help out? I'm like, yeah, definitely. Uh, girls from India playing hockey. Are you kidding me? That's, that's a no-brainer. <laughs> and they're like, there's only one thing. You have to go to BC to receive the girls and be with them, let's say, every day. I'm like, uh, that's easy. I'm a father. I know how to how, you know, do this and do that. I had a flexible schedule. So, And my uncle was actually in the hospital with a stroke. So I, it gave me an excuse to see him. So we organized our flights, uh, went there, and honestly when they first came off the plane you know you, you know the, into the the baggage claim area i remember having my phone out and going wow if somebody asks me in, or somebody asks somebody in 20 years where were you when the girls ice hockey team came to canada i was gonna say i was right there when the doors opened right and the yeah. girls were so positive and and so uh looking forward to this moment and uh to be able to sh be there when they first got off the plane in the airport, airport and then also be part of it in Calgary. And I got to be on the ice with them, do some sessions with them. We organized meals. We, we called around the city, uh, anybody that we knew to offer free meals for these girls. Uh, it was a great experience and the girls were great too. And, uh, and they told them, told us their stories that uh, it wasn't easy as putting on skates to play. They had a lot of challenges from family challenges to equipment challenges to, you know, men being ahead of the girls um, and everything. And so I was, we were very fortunate that uh, we had an experience like that. Dampy, you got uh, to play uh, in the IHL. You were part of the Oilers system. What was your hockey experience like growing up? It was great. Like I, I would say like it was, when I say great, I, I think it shaped uh, who I am today sitting in front of you uh, because I think it's, uh, you know, growing up in a small town, uh, I excelled at hockey. Uh, I excelled at other school sports. Uh, I, that's all I want to do is play sports. My dad was a great volleyball player back in India, uh, so he knew the value of sports. And, uh, and uh, yeah, you, I was called racial slurs uh, when we played against other teams. Uh, you would get that. Uh, not so much from the teammates, but my teammates did a really good job if they heard something to stick up for me. Uh, coaches were really, really positive, uh, um, but it was just from the other teams. And I think, uh, you know, there was less education back there. There was less uh, information about this kind of stuff. Right. And so my dad was actually the best person that I can have. He's like, yeah, I did. I, I'm a, I grew, I grew up in India, came to Canada, working in a coal mine. You don't think people say stuff to me and to my face. Mm -hmm. And so he, he, he endured a lot. And I remember maybe about, about three or four months ago, we talked about it. And I go, how much did you face? And just like how Vander Keen talked about his dad facing, uh, when, remember, he, uh, his dad played hockey in the 60s. And he faced wow. a lot of discrimination. And so uh, you know, we're not even talking about hockey. We're talking about real life, uh, you know, trying to, you know, uh, set up a family and work uh, and then put their kids in hockey. And my dad faced a lot. But he, but he shrugs it off. He's like... I needed to take that because I knew you were going to take it and, uh, and it's going to make you stronger and, and, and perseverance is key. And <clears throat> so for me, uh, Lali Tour, uh, the founder of Apna Hockey, and the reason why he started this program was because of that. And he didn't have role models. Uh, I'm 15 years older than him. Um, and uh, he, he wanted somebody like me kicking around to help out or to talk to or to come watch his games or you know if he if he faced racial discrimination for somebody like me to come in like you know why is this happening or you know stand up for him so uh and that's and i faced it too there's no question but uh um you know it really affected him because uh, he felt that he had a more of a promising career than where it led to and uh and so that's how Opna Hockey started. And when we met, our stories somewhat matched. And, uh, and yeah, so, you know, you go through those trials and tribulations, and, and that's why we stand here today. And, you know, it is, it is that, that growth and that education and that awareness. Um, and we just saw, you know, the emergence of the Hockey Diversity Alliance and what they're trying to do within the sport of hockey. But I think you said it best. It's, it's a life thing too, right? Like it's hockey, but it's, it's about life. And I think programs like this one are a crucial part of eliminating that and making the sport and the world a more inclusive place. So uh, congratulations again on being named yeah. a finalist for the Willie O'Brien. 
Montgomery Community Hero Award. You are doing amazing things. We are so excited that we got to talk to you. And uh, for those of you watching at home, you can vote for this award. So make sure you head to nhl.com slash slash O-R-E award. It's O-R-E-E -E award. Uh, so you can place your vote. Uh, congratulations again and best of luck. It was a pleasure chatting with you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.